Good morning. I'm Dr. John Triffle, and I want to talk to you about Parkinson's disease today. I've had Parkinson's disease for 16 years, and I, as you can tell, I've got some symptoms, but it's really not that bad. As you can tell, I've got some tremor, significant tremor in my right hand. This comes and goes. Part of the time it's going to be tremoring like this, and the other part of the time it's going to be completely normal. My left hand is completely normal. It, it gets tremors in it, rarely. The reason I'm talking to you today is that I think my Parkinson's has progressed rather slowly compared to lots of other folks who've had it progress pretty rapidly. 16 years and uh, I'm not having that much of a problem with, my, with tremors anymore. The reason why I decided to go on, on this course of medication is I read a book by uh, Oliver Sacks called Awakenings. It's about the people who were infected with the 1918 flu pandemic. Most, a lot, millions died, and there were several hundred, if not more, who developed a syndrome which was very similar to Parkinson's. Their muscles became very rigid and they could hardly move. There was essentially no treatment available for Parkinson's until about the early 1960s. And at that time they started giving patients L-DOPA. They gave these patients who were in the hospital L-DOPA and it was almost like a miracle. And in a very short time they were up and about and it appeared to be completely normal in every way. However, shortly after that they started to die. Since they had lived for some 40 or 50 years up until this time, the deaths could only be attributed, in my opinion, to taking the L-DOPA. And for that reason, I decided not to take L-DOPA. My Parkinson's has progressed somewhat that I started taking it in the last year. But the first 15 years, I took alternative medicines. My grandmother on my mother's side had Parkinson's disease. This was before L-DOPA came along, and she lived probably at least 20 years without uh, taking any medication for it, and she died of something else. This is, this is to illustrate the fact that most people with Parkinson's have some degree of genetic uh, background. It may be hard to pick up. I've only been taking Cinemet for the last year. And the reason for that is I was very afraid of the side effects, one of which is death. And my Parkinson's has progressed very slowly. And I attribute this to not taking sentiment for my first 15 years of having the illness. I think uh, if a person starts taking sentiment right at the beginning of their illness, it's only going to last, the effectiveness of sentiment is only going to last five, ten years at the most. And that's the strongest medicine there is for Parkinson's. And at that point, the only treatment that's available is one of three or four different brain operations, which have a certain amount of morbidity attached to them. I believe that my Parkinson's has progressed rather slowly compared to other people because I haven't taken Cinemet until the last year. I've been taking it for about one year. And I think if I had been taking Cinemate right from the beginning when it was recommended by a professor at UC, I would have been dead years ago. So what I urge all people with Parkinson's to do is hook up with some alternate practitioners, whether it's uh, practitioners, from, practitioners from India or from China, where this disease has been treated for thousands of years. The side effect of not taking medicine, not taking cinnamon specifically, is life. Let me say, first of all, see my smile? My face is not rigid. I still am able to smile. And let me say this. Let's put our brains together and support brain research.